Hello everyone. Welcome to Worthington Library's Online Story Times. My name is Miss Jenny and I'm from Northwest Library and this during this next session we will be doing our story times online again. But this time we're going to do it a little bit differently. We have designed our story times to be kind of like a Friday family fun story time to encompass age levels birth through age five. And also along with me doing the story times will be Miss Karen from Old Worthington Library and Miss Lisa from Worthington Park Library. We are going to take turns doing story times each week. This week, the first week, is my turn to do the story times. Next week, Miss Lisa will do her story time. And then the week after that, Miss Karen will do a story time. So be watching for us on our library website and our Facebook page. That's where you will find us doing story times. We're all going to keep it so that you all feel like we're doing, we're on the same page and to keep it consistent. We're going to all start our story times with the same song. And the song we've chose to use is The More We Get Together. Now I know some of you out there know the song, but do you know the finger play to it? The sign language to it? Some of you might and some of you might not. So we're going to go ahead right now and I'm going to teach you the signs that we're going to use for that. And Miss Lisa will be using these same signs. Miss Karen will be using these same signs. And by the time story times are over, you guys are going to be pros at this. So here we go. Okay, this is more. So more. And then can you put your hands in fists? And when you put your hands in fists, you're going to go around in a circle like this. Kind of like you're stirring a pot. And this is together. And this is happy. And this is your. And this is a sign for friends. You kind of hook your fingers together. Your friends. This is my. This is a tricky part because you're going to have your friends are my friends. And my friends are your friends. Okay, you ready? Let's try it. Oh, and by the way, those of you with babies out there, do you know what their first finger play is? Well, their first finger play is clapping their hands. So moms or dads or caregivers out there, those of you that have a baby and are in our story time, as we're singing this song, help them clap their little hands to the music as we sing. And everybody sing along with us. Okay, ready? Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, that was pretty good for the first time. Thanks for doing that with me. Well, I, some of you that have come to my story times know I like to do my see it, say it, sing it rhymes, which really are nursery rhymes. And I feel nursery rhymes are an important part of a child's early skills of getting ready to learn to read because they're very short rhymes. They have a beginning, middle, and end, and they're kind of just like retelling a story. So it's the first storytelling that a child's learning to do. And it also helps with their understanding and comprehension and also building their vocabulary along the way. So today with me, I have Jack. This is Jack. Oh, and Jack is very nimble. Do you know what it means to be nimble? Nimble means that you're very flexible. You can crawl under tables. You can jump up and down. You can run around. You can kick a ball and do these things pretty easily. I bet a lot of you are very nimble. Well, Jack likes to jump over a candlestick. Not really a good idea, but Jack likes to do it. And so here's Jack. He likes to jump high, he likes to jump low, and then when he jumps over it, oh, he burns his toe. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're going to say this rhyme, but we're going to do motions. So then here again, here we bring the babies in. Moms with babies, what you're going to do when we say 
over. You're going to lift your baby up and over, okay? And boys and girls, when you do it, I want you to stand up now. Can you stand up? Good job. You're going to go up real high on your toes and real low to the floor. And before, you're going to rock back and forth. And those with babies, you're going to rock your babies back and forth as we do this too. So let's say it first. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Jack jumped high, Jack jumped low. Jack jumped over and burnt his toe. Ow, 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 ow. Were you hopping when you were saying ow, ow, ow on one foot? That's a good skill too. That helps you with your balance. And moms with babies, did you know when you lift your babies up in the air, you're actually helping them to get ready to learn to walk? You are, because it helps build their core muscles. And the stronger their core muscles that they have, the easier it is for them to learn to walk. It helps them with their balance and their dexterity. And it's a help for life for them to build those core muscles. Okay, I said we were going to sing it, so let's sing it. We're going to do the same motions. Ready? Here we go. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Jack jumped high. Jack jumped low. Jack jumped over and burnt his toe. Ow, 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 ow. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Good job. You know, today when you're at home, Maybe you could do Jack Be Nimble at home and act it out, but you can change Jack's name. Maybe instead of using Jack's name, use your name. Maybe you're going to say, Bridget Be Nimble, Bridget Be Quick. Bridget danced around the candlestick. Or maybe your name's Devin. You'll say, Devin Be Nimble, Devin Be Quick. Devin rolled around the candlestick. So see how many different actions you can do around a pretend candlestick. And you know what? I love to see you guys, and I don't get to see you, and I miss you so much, but you know how I can see you? Maybe mom or dad can video you and put it on our YouTube, or not our YouTube, but our um, website, so I can see you doing some of these actions, or our Facebook page. Put them on our Facebook page. I would love to be able to see so you do some of your things at home. All right. Well, our first story today has to do with feelings. You know, I don't know about you guys, but during this stay at home story time stuff, I have missed you guys so much. I've missed my friends. I'm trying to stay safe. So I had all sorts of different feelings. Sometimes I felt sad because I missed everybody. I miss giving hugs. I felt lonely because sometimes I'd be home by myself. And sometimes I felt happy though, because I'd get that surprise phone call from a friend I hadn't heard from in a long time that said, Jenny, how are you doing? Are you as lonely or bored as I am during this time we have to stay at home? So that was fun. That was a happy thing. Well, speaking of feelings, I want to read a story to you today. The name of this story is Some Days. And this story is by Karen Kaufman Orloff. And it's illustrated by Zai Chen. And I really want to thank Sterling Publishing Company because if it weren't for them giving me permission, I couldn't share this book with you today. So here we go. Let's see what some days are like. Maybe these some days were days like you had at home during this pandemic. Okay. Some days are chocolate pudding pie days. Kite up in the sky days. Jumping super high days. Some days are swim at Grandpa Joe's days. Water through my toes days. Take a little doze day. Some days are hurt myself days. Icky, sticky, Oh, kind of like Jack burned his toe. Ow, ow, ow. Need my mommy nowadays. You see those? Happy Adoption Day! 
Some days are picking out pup days. Oh, oh wouldn't that be fun? When I shiny cup days. Getting all dressed up days. Oh, that looks like fun too. Some days your mommy makes a fuss day. <gasps> Running for the bus day. Ooh, that's a little scary. Are we going to make that fuss? Ooh, I think I feel a little anxious there. No kickball for us days. Look at those sad faces. <gasps> Some days are angel in the snow days. How do you think they're feeling there? Are they having fun? They feel happy, don't they? Rolling out dough days. Watch a fire glow days. Look at their faces. How do you think they're feeling there? They're concentrating. They're being serious. Make a mess and chore days. Daddy yells, no more days. Some days are way to store days. That's going to be boring days, can't they? Look at that little boy. He looks bored. Some days are feeling kind of mad days. Sorry to be bad days. Just a little sad days. <gasps> Some days are digging in the dirt days. Paint a hose and squirt days. Going for dessert days. Can you tell by their faces how they feel? Some days are getting rid of flea days, drippy nose and sneeze days, A -choo -choo! running from the bees days. <gasps> running from bees. I think I'd be scared. What about you? Some days are playing on my own days. Kicking up stones days. Feeling all alone days. But most days are ready. One, two, three. Lots to do days. Learning to be me days. Oh, you know, that book had lots of different emotions or feelings. Emotions is another word for feelings. Well, you guys and I know, know the song if you're happy and you know it, because we do that in story times at Northwest Library, Old Worthington Library, and Worthington Park Library. Well, we're going to do it right now, but today is going to be kind of a little game. Okay, I want you to look at a face. Can you see her? Okay. What do you think her feeling is? Look at her. Happy. Yeah, she's happy. So let's sing. If you're happy and you know it, make a happy face. If you're happy and you know it, make a happy face. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, make a happy face. Okay, but uh-oh, here's another face. How do you think he feels? He's got tears coming down. Do you see those? If you're sad and you know it, shed some tears. Boo-hoo! If you're sad and you know it, shed some tears. Boo-hoo! If you're sad and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're sad and you know it, shed some tears. Boo-hoo! What about this little girl? How do you think she feels? Look at her face. Can you see her eyebrows? Can you see her mouth? I think she's having a mad day. How about what do you do if you're mad? Do you ever stomp your feet? Let's stomp her feet. If you're mad and you know a stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're mad and you know a stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. 
If you're mad and you know it, then your face will really show. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. <gasps> oh, this one. What's his face? He's making a silly face. Some days you just feel silly. Let's make silly faces together, ready? If you're silly and you know it, make a silly face. If you're silly and you know it, make a silly face. If you're silly and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're silly and you know it, make a silly face. <coughs> Good job. Uh-oh, here's another one. Look at this. What face does he have? <gasps> I think he's scared. If you're scared, what do you do? I think I'd run and hide. If you're scared and you know what, run and hide. If you're scared and you know what, run and hide. If you're scared and you know what, then your face will really show it. If you're scared and you know what, run and hide. But come out from hiding because here's a little girl. Look at her. What do you think? I think she's tired too. I think we just tired her out. If you're tired and you know what, stretch and yawn. If you're tired and you know what, stretch and yawn. If you're tired and you know what, then your face will really show. If you're tired and you know what, stretch and yawn. Good job. Well, you know what? I have one more little story I want to share with you today. And the name of this story is Oopsie Doo. Do you know what an Oopsie Doo is? An Oopsie Doo is just a mistake. Maybe you spilled your cereal in the morning. What do you say? Oopsie doo. Or spilled your milk. Oopsie doo. Well, in this story by Ted Cuphart, pictures by Lori Richmond. And by the way, we want to thank Harper Collins for allowing us to share this book with you today, or me to share this book with you today. Let every time we see the word oopsie doo in the story, I'll point to it. And will you please say it with me? Let's practice. Oopsie doo. Good job. I think we're ready. All right. Oopsie doos can happen and get in your way, but that doesn't mean they should ruin your day. Forget all the flubs and mess ups. You make a reason to fret. If you make a mistake, just say oopsie do. Good job. You read a word. If you, your job is to pour, but you spill on the floor. Oh, she looks sad, doesn't she? What should she say? Oopsie do! Look at all her friends helping her clean that up. Good job. Let's see if we can find Oopsie do again. If you're grabbing your pack, but out falls your snack, it's okay. That's right, you say, oopsie do. If your blue submarine turns your yellow fish green, that's art, it's true. It's just time to say, what's that word? That's right, then there it is, oopsie do. Speaking of oopsie doos, I skipped a page. If you're chasing a ball and you stumble and fall, it's okay. Just say what? Should we see what that word is? Oopsie do. You guys are really getting good at saying that word and reading those words. When your coat is on tight, but the buttons aren't right. Did you ever have that happen? I have. It's a good time to say what? Oopsie do. If you dash through the door and you track mud on the floor, time to clean up. It's nothing new. Let's just all say, what is that word we're gonna say again? Let's read it. Oopsie do. 
everyone has oopsies. That's okay. When flying spaghetti lands on your teddy, what are you going to say? Oopsie do. If your toothpaste you squirt ends up on your shirt, what are you going to say? Oopsie do. Hooray, that's what we say. No more oopsies today. Now you've learned what to do. Just one thing to say. What do you think it is? Any ideas? Do you think it's oopsie do? Let's see. I love you and I love you guys too. Hey guys, we're gonna do our last rhyme. Can you reach your hands up really, really high and moms with babies, reach your babies hands, arms up high. We're gonna tickle the clouds. We're gonna tickle our toes. And then turn around and tickle your nose and reach down really, really low. Now reach up really, really high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Bye, boys and girls. Next week, look for Miss Lisa. Have a great week. Goodbye.